Hi guys, Jack from FoxTech. Today I'm very glad to show you the Swift 280 Resume Quad, which has the tilt rotor function. And tilt rotor meaning you don't need to tilt too much your quad while flying at high speed. This gives you a very comfortable view angle and always a very easier way to control your quad at high speed. Okay, uh, from the appearance we can see it comes with a very nice black box and shiny and with every feature uh, printed on already here okay just uh, let's open it okay first layer we can see a beautiful black flash protection uh, foam and then here comes the menu uh, this is a printed menu with a lot of features that how you are going to set your cord and how you can connect your flight control on okay and uh, this version is the PNP version and it's already assembled. So uh, we can find this is a six inch feather, two pairs. And okay, let's just uh, take out the Swift 280. Uh, you can see the Swift 280 is a quite beautiful black small racing quad. And uh, you can see it comes with a 42208 high KV. Uh, high KV value motors and it comes with a lightweight canopy black with a beautiful paintings on it and uh, it's a tilt rotor design so you can see the motors are tilting uh, even if I, I can show it with my hand. Okay, so what other including in the box is a mini CC3D flight control. Uh, this is a PNP version, so what you have to do to make it fly is just uh, uh, install the CC3D flight control on it and connect your battery 3S or 4S and you are ready to fly. Uh, then what other include in the box is uh, here is a paper which have the uh, recommended parameter setting of 3C3D to make the Swift 280 having the best flying performance. And also you can find some screws, screwdrivers, and here's the stickers and some kind of tapes, uh, which are accessory. Okay, so uh, basically, the Swift 280 is all assembled, so it makes it very easy, not like last version. Last version, you need to assemble screws by screws, boards by boards, which is quite, quite time-consuming and some kind of um, boring. So this time is much better, just the kinetic battery and your flight control then is ready to fly. And now I'm going to show the inside of the Swift 280 quadcopter. Okay, uh, what you have to do is just uh, open the canopy. And uh, if you take a close look, you can see here that also are uh, four uh, plastic locks right here and the four uh, rubber things to help it not moving. Okay, what you have to do is uh, draw this canopy outward and you can take it out easily. And this kind of thing is like what we play uh, when we play the RC helicopter. Uh, you can see the similar things on the canopy too. Okay, here is I already mounted my receiver in on, on this uh, quad, and so you can see receiver right here. And uh, okay, let's uh, from the top to bottom. The first layer is the damper layer, is a damper plate. Uh, you can you can put on a HD camera like what I'm using right now. But if you have to put this camera, you may need to cut the canopy piece, right part, this part a little bit, and to make it fit. And also another option is you if you want to use a, a GoPro, you can uh, just uh, tie a GoPro right here, and it will also work. And also for the ARTF version, the Swift 280 comes with a uh, its own uh, 1080p camera, so uh, it will be quite small uh, than this than this one and, and a lighter. So uh, I think the that one will fit better. But uh, if you want to use other options, it's it's all okay. Okay, the second layer is the PCB layer. It's made of PCB, so you can actually find all wires are going through this PCB, no matter it's the power 
and also ESC uh, signal control and most mostly everything. The Zoom 5280 uh, version 2 uses a bearing and aluminum and also a digital servo for the motor tilting. So uh, on this mechanism, I can find it's very precise and very smooth, has zero tolerance. So it means you can have a very high performance fly with this one. Okay, the bottom layer is made of carbon fiber. You can see this uh, pattern right here. And uh, if I move the arm, you can see actually here's a, it's a bar right here. Uh, here's the controlled by the digital servo and actually link the front arm and the, the, the back arm together. Okay, so I'm going to uh, plug on battery. For the battery, you can use a battery ranging from 1300, which I'm using right now, to 2200. And if you want to use a big battery, make sure you have a good balance weight right here to make it balanced. Okay, so let's just use the small battery to have a try. Okay, as soon as you connect battery, you can see this uh, Swift 280 is working right now. Uh, for a normal racing quad, if you want to fly faster, you have to tilt your quadcopter uh, quite a lot, like this angle, like 70 degrees. So in that case, you have to mount your camera to a certain angle to compensate this tilting. But uh, what happens on the Swift 280 is, Instead of tilting the whole body, you just tilt the motors. So it flies at a certain angle, a gentle angle, not too much, maybe 15 degrees, and you still get high speed. And also you don't need to turn the whole body uh, tilting too much, uh, meaning you have less wind resistance, then you can fly even faster. Okay. So you can see uh, when I control the elevator, the motors tilts uh, like the total angle is like 60 degree or even more than that. And uh, what I have to say is if, if you want to use the 6 inch propeller with the canopy, you have to set the, the end point of the elevator to this angle or the propellers is too big will hit this part of the canopy. And also another option is you may change the propellers into a 5 inch so you can avoid a uh, collision with the canopy. Okay, anyway, we are going to do a flight test with the Swift 280 and uh, I hope you also enjoy the flight. And if you want to buy this one, don't hesitate. It's already in stock on foxhappv.com. And if you like our product and also videos, don't forget to subscribe. This is Jack from Fox Tech. Have a nice day. Bye.